I took inspiration from really weird things. I just imagined what it would be like to be the devil and to have those things taken away from me. But I'm like, to me, the devil is something that's like very inviting. And so I feel like I wanted to make these colors. It was inspired by these pastel colors, this necklace that my friend made. And I uh, built the character on just colors of like being very inviting and warm and he's fun and flamboyant. And you feel, you, you're like, wow, this is something I'm attracted to. And then once you get close, he's absolutely terrifying. And then like the things he wants to do is like, it's beyond, he's so obsessed. Welcome to Fandango's Big Ticket, where we interview Hollywood's top stars and tell you what's hot in theaters. This week's Big Ticket movie is Fast X. Get your tickets now and be sure to check out our full interview on Fandango.com. In theaters this week, Dom and the rest of his crew speed toward the end of the Fast Saga, a young woman returns home to face a past she left behind, and a girl struggles to find herself after her faith is put to the test. It's all coming up this week on Big Ticket. The great Dom Toretto. If you never would have gotten behind that wheel never be the man I am today. Starting with the action-packed Fast X. Reason number one to watch this is that it's the 10th installment in the two-decade-old franchise and marks the beginning of the end so sad for this saga, with Fast 11 coming in 2025. Well, supposedly, because Vin Diesel did tease a possible Fast 12 at the red carpet premiere in Rome, so be prepared for a trilogy finale. Another reason for watching is that the latest A list star to join the Fast family this time around is Jason Momoa as a villain named Dante Reyes, the son of a drug lord who was killed in 2011's Fast Five. Dante is looking for revenge while Vin Diesel's Dom is fighting to protect his crew and his family. Had to do my best, Dom. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, Fast X is promising some jaw-dropping surprises from beginning to end, as in the very end of the film, as in past the credits, as in wink wink, nudge nudge. Okay, forget it. Just stay in your seats until the lights come up. Listen, whatever's happening, it's not worth it. Family comes first. I know you told me not to call, but um, I just need to talk. Also opening wide is the drama film Monica. This one stars Trace Lisette as a trans woman estranged from her family who goes back home to help her dying mother, played by Patricia Clarkson. Monica's gender transition goes largely unaddressed, but looms large to make for an uncomfortable reunion. And if that original and interesting premise isn't enough reason to see this one, how about the fact that Lisette is finally shining in a starring role after strong supporting performances in projects like Hustlers and Transparent? Plus, Lisette already etched her name in the cinematic history books as the first transgender person to headline a movie in competition at the Venice Film Festival. Go ahead, give her your best slow clap, and in European festival tradition, a very long standing O. Monica has performed very well with critics, mostly due to Lisette's performance, and now it's your turn to go see it and tell people what you think. Hey, need help? Sure. You ever want to be a pro dancer? No. I think God will strike you dead if you're enjoying dancing. Show me something. <laughs> And finally, a third option for theatergoers is The Starling Girl. This drama stars Eliza Scanlon from the HBO miniseries Sharp Objects as a 17-year-old girl raised in a fundamentalist Christian community. She's trying to find her place in the world, which becomes much more complicated when a young youth pastor comes back to town and turns her world upside down. And if you're still not sold on checking out a rising star, it's worth noting that this marks the feature debut for writer-director Laurel Parmet, another great young talent. How do we know that? Well, she was recognized with multiple award nominations and one win at various film festivals as this film made the rounds and wowed both critics and fans along the way. That's it for this week's Big Ticket. What a fast and furious ride that was. Hey, kind of like that one movie or, you know, dozen of them. And don't forget, you can get your tickets now to one or all of these at Fandango.com. Thanks for watching Fandango's Big Ticket. See you next week.